Biological soil amendments of animal origin are biological soil amendments which consist in whole or in part of materials of animal origin such as manure or non-fecal animal byproducts including animal mortalities or table waste alone or in combination. Treated sewage sludge or biosolids are a special case of biological soil amendments of animal origin. Biosolids are the treated solid material from wastewater treatment. The different treatment processes reduce some or most of the risks associated with human waste. EPA regulates land application of biosolids via 40 CFR Part 503. Three types of biosolids exist in this part based on their level of treatment. They are exceptional quality, Class A, and Class B biosolids. The different classes have specified treatment requirements for pollutants, pathogens, and vector attraction reduction, as well as general requirements and management practices, among other requirements. Class A treated biosolids eliminate pathogens, including viruses and protozoa. Pathogens may exist in biosolids that meet Class B standards over 40 CFR Part 503, which is why EPA's regulations include site restrictions to allow time for pathogen degradation, which will minimize potential human exposure. Individual states may have more stringent requirements and additional criteria. Additionally, some states require permits to apply biosolids and a site evaluation might need to be conducted. Class A EQ, Class A and Class B biosolids all start from domestic sewage that enters the wastewater treatment plant. During wastewater treatment, the liquids are separated from the solids. These solids are then treated through physical, biological, and or chemical processes to produce a semi-solid, nutrient-rich product known as biosolids. What is shown here is one type of Class A treatment. The solids are dewatered. One way of doing this is using centrifuges shown here. The solids are removed from the centrifuge in relatively large, moist chunks. Conveyors carry these chunks to heat dryers that further dry and heat treat the material. The dryers help to disaggregate the chunks into smaller pieces. The pieces then rotate in large tumblers that help dissipate any extra heat and further shape the pieces into more uniformly round shapes. A sifter then sorts the biosolid pieces by size, discarding the largest pieces. The sorted pieces are moved to a silo for storage until a truck arrives to apply them back to the land. Some Class A biosolids are granular and can be applied just like granular fertilizer. There are no restrictions from EPA on land application of Class A EQ product, and a farm may choose to use this product on their produce fields. It should be noted, however, that other types of biosolids, including Class B, can be used on produce fields as long as site and harvest restrictions are in place, which depend on the type of produce. While the farm may not be using biosolids, it could be applied to adjacent cropland. Some of the product is dry, so dust can travel from one field to another, and in liquid form there may be potential for runoff. However, while public perception may drive some concerns, Class A has been treated to a level such that microbes are virtually non-existent. In addition, as described previously, there are specific restrictions on handling and applications for all class types. However, a firm should try to be aware of potential drift and or runoff from an adjacent application. Class B biosolids are typically less dewatered as Class A biosolids, so they are usually applied as a liquid, but they can be dried into a cake and applied as a dry product. EPA defines two types of land that benefit from the application of biosolids, non-public contact sites, or areas not frequently visited by the public, and public contact sites, such as public parks, plant nurseries, roadsides, golf courses, lawns, and home gardens. There are application requirements for some biosolid types, such as including being disked into the soil within 24 hours of surface applied, setback requirements, pre-harvest interval, and records. Existing 40 CFR Part 503 requirements and guidance help ensure that biosolids are processed, handled, and land applied in a manner that minimizes potential risk to human health. However, as an inspector, you should be aware of the type, location, and application method of the biosolids when used on or in proximity to fresh produce. Thank you.